All right, in this video, this is problem number 32 on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 32, pause the video, read over this question, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you're not gonna see a math problem this long on the T's test. However, I wanted to challenge you here because we have a whole bunch of different numbers going on. We're gonna have some multiplying, some dividing, some conversions. It's just a whole bunch of stuff involved in this problem. So pause the video, when you return, we'll look at how to find this solution. So we have Carla, she is going to make 100 flower arrangements and each of these arrangements needs a plastic molding. So she needs 100 plastic moldings for her 100 arrangements. Each plastic molding costs $3.25. There's no special sales or anything there. Therefore, for 100 arrangements and each plastic molding is $3.25, we multiply these two numbers so she's going to spend $325 on the plastic molding. Now, she needs four packages of colored netting as well. Each package sells for $15 each. However, the company she orders from has a special on the netting packages. If you buy three packages of netting, you get a package for free. Perfect. She needs four, so we're not going to take four times 15, though, because she's going to buy three, she's going to pay for three, and she'll get that fourth package for free. Therefore, she's going to spend $45 on the colored netting. $15 per package times three packages, even though she needs four, again, she's going to buy three of them and get the fourth one for free. Now, the polyester fabric. This is the tricky one because she needs 180 square feet of polyester fabric that sells for $5.20 per square yard. Be careful here. We got square feet, square yard. We need to make sure we get these in the same unit of measurement before we find the price. There's multiple ways to do this. I'm going to explain one way that you can do this. What we have down here, think of this as being one square yard. The area of this square, since it's one yard by one yard, one yard times one yard is one square yard. One square yard is not the same as one square foot. One yard is equal to three feet, so really if we have one yard by one yard, that's the same thing as three feet by three feet. So one square yard is the same thing as nine square feet. Think about that. One yard by one yard is the same thing as three feet by three feet. And if we find the area of that square in square feet, three feet times three feet is nine square feet. That's a very common misconception that students have when dealing with area. Sure, one yard equals three feet, but one square yard is nine square feet. Be careful with that. Now, why am I doing this? Because we have square feet and we have square yards. We know that Carla needs 180 square feet. So notice I'm putting that over here on the square feet side. And we're gonna figure out how many square yards that is equal to. So to solve this proportion, we can cross multiply. One times 180 is 180. Nine times X is nine X. Divide both sides by nine to get X by itself. And we get 20 is equal to X. Therefore, Carla is going to need 20 square yards, and that's helpful now because for each one of these 20 square yards, she's gonna pay $5.20 for each square yard. She needs 20 of them, so let's multiply by $5.20. Therefore, when we multiply $5.20 per square yard times 20 square yards of polyester fabric, she will spend $104. Lastly, she needs artificial stems. She's gonna need six stems for each arrangement. And recall that she needs to make 100 arrangements, so six stems per arrangement times 100 arrangements, she will need 600 stems in all. The stems are sold in packs of 10, so if she buys one pack that costs $2.50, she's going to get 10 of those stems. Well, she needs 600. So one way to think about it here is that if she needs 600 stems, if we divide that into packs of 10, 10 per pack, she's gonna need 60 packs in all. And since each pack costs $2.50, she needs 60 packs. 60 times $2.50 is 150 bucks. So these are all the expenses that Carl is gonna have. The plastic molding, the colored netting, the polyester fabric, and the stems. She's going to sell each arrangement for $20, and we want to figure out how much money Carla will make off of the order once she subtracts her expenses for the supplies. 
basically you can think of this as what type of profit is she getting? So let's take all four of these costs. Finding the sum, Carla's cost for supplies will be $624. And since the problem stated she's going to sell each arrangement for $20, and recall she is going to sell 100 of these arrangements, $20 per arrangement times 100 arrangements is going to be $2,000. Now the question states, how much money will Carla make off the order once she subtracts her expenses for the supplies? So she's gonna bring in $2,000, let's subtract off her expenses. Think of this number here, which is our answer as the profit that she's making. Carla's going to make $1,376 off of this order after she subtracts her expenses. And there you have it, the long word problem, very involved. And again, you're not going to see one this long on the T's test, but I still wanted to challenge you here and get you to think about different ways of working with numbers. And we're doing a lot of things here. Technically, you're answering like five or six different questions, but I wanted to combine it all into one piece to really get you to think outside the box. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Problem number 32 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.